Peace to you and yours, brother. Blue Pill reporting live and direct. We are here in Brooklyn, New York. Actually, in the playground where I very first uh, started out. That's where I made my first push-up, my first pull-up. I was going to Jackie Robinson IS Intermediate School. All right, this is here in Brooklyn on the borderline of Crown Heights and Flatbush, Brooklyn. People have been inquiring about uh, a lot of the Instagram posts that I've been making pertaining to my fitness regimen. And they've been asking for us to do something on the network. So here it is, we're gonna be doing a series dealing with fitness. We're gonna be showing people proper form in real time. But first and foremost, before we show you any form, before we get into any of the demonstration, the primary thing that you need to know about fitness, the primary thing that you need to know about working out, body sculpting, bodybuilding, whatever that you wanna call it, is breathing, all right? The breath is the central point to all of everything that we're gonna be speaking about, it begins and it ends with the breath, all right? The breath of life is what it is that we are enforcing. Everything else that we're doing with our bodies, we're just, this is just, it's fancy. It's all built around breathing. The breath is the rudimentary aspect of the particular art form. So we're going to show you proper form and with that form denotes function. So of course, with proper form, you know that your functionality is going to be A1, all right? So we're gonna show you that breathing is so easy, a baby can do it. And ironically enough, we're surrounded by the children. I wanna introduce y'all to my partner right here, my brother Ty. He is a breathing specialist, all right? Practitioner of the Bagua system, all right? Discipline, please explain to people what that entails. Pretty much. Bagua is an internal martial art dealing with the functioning of how the body properly functions. Today we'll be giving a demonstration on how you breathe properly doing different exercises that you do, uh, primarily calisthenics. Indeed, indeed, y'all. So breathing, the breath, the two right. primary functions of breathing, inhaling and exhaling, all right? And what you need to know, what you be, need to be mindful of, what you almost need to have like muscle memory is the mental memory of when you're inhaling and when you're exhaling and how that all applies to the particular form that you are enacting. Inhaling would be considered to be magnetic and exhaling would be electric. When you are compressing, you should inhale. And when you're expanding, you should be exhaling. So if I was doing a push-up, when I'm going down, I'm going to be going down on the inhale. And when I am lifting myself up, I will lift myself up on the exhale. Observe. <clears throat> the brother Blue Pill is inhaling, going down, and then he's exhaling on the come up. Inhaling, going down, and exhaling on the come up. One more time. Inhaling, going down. And exhaling on a come up. This is the proper way of breathing. And as you can see, we have our, um, our young practitioners here, all right? So we're gonna allow them to demonstrate as well. I want you to show us the perfect form of a push-up. Remember what he said. Inhaling, going down. Exhaling, coming up. Come on. You can go down. Inhale, empty your nose, going down. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, empty your nose, out your mouth. Through the nose, out the mouth. Through the nose, out to the mouth. Through the nose, out through the mouth. All right? Who wants to try next? You next after him. I like this ball. All right. Inhale. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Through the nose. Out through the mouth. Through the nose, out through the mouth. All right? Through the nose, out through the mouth. 
Through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, one more. Through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, good money. Can I do the mouth? You next. One second. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep your head up. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Exhale, yes. Out through the mouth, exhale. Good money. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Good form. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep your head up. And through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's go. You got it. One more. You got it. And through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep your head up. Thank you, brother. One more. You go. We're going to do one more demonstration. All right. And through the nose, out through the mouth. And through the nose, out through the mouth. Exhale. That's right. And through the nose, out through the mouth. And through the nose, out through the mouth. And through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep your head up. And through the nose, out through the mouth. There we go. There we go. There we go. You got it. All right. You got it. You did yours already. We'll get you on another one. All right. So, as we said, you are actually envisioning the whole aspect that through diaphragmic breathing, you're not even actually doing what we would consider the quote-unquote push-up. The emphasis is on the breathing. Your body will do the rest. So be conscious of your breathing. This whole segment should be titled Conscious Breathing. All right, for the conscious community, this is conscious breathing. All right, and breathing is actually being present in the now. This is an entire emphasis on centering you in the now. All right, your mind cannot be strayed on the past or the future or what you've seen on YouTube or the comment section or nothing. Your focus has to be on the now. And when you focus on breathing in the now, then that's going to center your focus. All right? So where energy goes? Wherever the mind goes, energy flows. Right now, we're going to give a demonstration of how what you do with your awareness affects your body physically. So the brother Blue Pill, we're going to explain what it is to be in the now. And I would like to give a demonstration because I come from the school where those that do know and I don't believe in philosophy, I believe in action. So let's apply this right now. All right, put your arm out. Now, wherever the mind goes, energy flows. Awareness is power. What we're gonna demonstrate is, is wherever you put your mind at, you give your body and yourself energy. I want you to think about yesterday. I want you to think about yesterday. I want you to keep your arm strong. I don't want you to allow me to push your arm down. So keep strong, but think about yesterday. Be all the way tomorrow. Be all the way yesterday. Stay strong though. Stay strong though. Okay. I want you to put your awareness right here. I want you to say, it's right now. 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 Okay. I want you to be aware of yourself. Do not allow me to put your arm down. Saying it's right now inside your mind. Okay, what's the difference? I mean, being presently present in the now, I had incredible strength. I was sensing I was focused. It felt like he was just, you know, like pit patting as opposed to when I was thinking about everything that was going on yesterday, I wasn't even here. I couldn't even hold my thing up, so my arm up. So I, I, I noticed a considerable difference, you know what I'm saying? There's power and being presently present, you feel me? This is a prime example of wherever the mind goes, energy flows. So when you do your training, ladies and gentlemen, you need to be presently present all the way with your awareness on yourself. It's key, especially when you're doing internal arts, to put full awareness on yourself. That way you'll be able to read and recognize exactly what's going on inside yourself. Before we break out with the full-fledged demonstrations of how to do a thousand pull-ups in the front, pull-ups and back pull-ups and upside down and this down and the other the most important thing which you'll always come back to like we said is the breathing so let us show you a demonstration of how to use the breath to actually build chi energy around yourself all right these are primary exercises that we uh will recommend that you do every single day for the accumulative pro uh, uh for the accumulative aspects of building up the reservoir of energy and tapping into that reservoir daily, all right? Small daily gains equal for enormous gains at the end of the week, right? 
That is going to end the week. That's going to end your weakness, the small gains that you build up. So every single day, the accumulative process is what's really going to get you there. All right, so this is the breathing technique that we want to show you about building up your cheek. This particular exercise is called a Raja drill. And um, the instructions that I'm going to give uh, the students that choose to engage is uh, a set of 24, which is one set, about eight times a day to keep the body fully oxygenated. Now also remember that the brain needs 10 times more oxygen in the body to function properly. Therefore, if you're not breathing enough, you're probably not functioning mentally efficiently also. So it would be key to breathe deep, consistently. So uh, let's get to it. So we're gonna Indeed. Coming up. Inhale on the come up. Then we're gonna exhale, coming down. Exhale, coming down. Exhale, coming down, y'all. As I'm coming up, I'm pressing my fingers up. As I'm coming up, I'm pressing my fingers up. When I get to this particular point, I'm pulling my forearms up. All of this is on the inhale. Then I'm going to press the bottom of my palms down as I'm coming down. Exhaling. 24 is a set. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. 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 The key is to also be aware of yourself as you're doing it. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Wherever the mind goes, energy flows. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Twenty-four is a set. Now on the closeout, this is how you close out. You gather the energy. Let's say I'm on my twenty-four, right? Inhale coming up, exhale coming down. Now when I close it out, I'm gonna make three circles. One. All while I'm inhaling. Two. Three. Exhale on the third. Your hands come out. Gathering the energy together, pulling it together, storing it in your dantium six times around the navel. Two, three, four, five, six. You can shake your hands out and your feet. Twenty-four. Eight times a day to keep the body fully oxygenated. You'll definitely notice a difference in your energy by doing this particular exercise, especially if you're already an athlete or if you suffer from having uh, low energy, not having uh, a high spirit when it comes to being active. Indeed. Again, like we said, once again, the emphasis is on breathing, all right? Because that's how you actually are going to be able to build the whole physical specimen, the God body routine, the God body workout, all of these things that we're emphasizing start and begin with the breath. The breath is the rudimentary entry point to all of the uh, next level stuff that we're going to be talking about and introducing you to. If you can't breathe, you're not going to be able to get any of this. So focus on step one and step one is the breath. So let's lock down the breath as it coincides with the actual uh, function of the form. All right. So I think that um, for the most part, we're going to conclude part one of today's activity because we wanted to introduce you to the breath. We did that. We showed you proper form and we actually gave you a daily technique that you can utilize to get yourself acclimated towards, like we said, 
the whole entry aspect of what it is we're going to be introducing. We got to lay the foundation first before we build a skyscraper. So that's what we're doing. Indeed. So until we meet again on episode two, peace to you and laws. Uh, Brother Ty, love. Indeed. Brother Blue, important live to you. Peace, family. See you on part two. Look at the young guys with the young guns. <laughs> Look at the young guys giving it up. Blue, you, I notice y'all keep stressing, stress breathing. That's something that's very neglected in our culture. In fact, half of the time people walked around with their stomach pulled in like women to make it seem like they don't have a gut. So while a lot of people in Western culture do that, they're damaging themselves even more without even knowing that. And it seems like something that's just like, uh, you know, breathing is just, you know, I'm, I am breathing. Why is it important to breathe from your, uh, what's the word you use? You, the, say that again? Diaphragm. Diaphragm. Why is it so important to breathe for your diaphragm and a master breathing during exercise? Because a lot of people think it's, it's just your physical strength and it doesn't have nothing to do with your breathing. Right. When, when they breathe from the lungs, what that's called is shallow, that's shallow breathing. So in order to get an elongated breath, deep breathing, diaphragmic breathing, you actually have to pull from the diaphragm. You have to enlarge the stomach or engorge the stomach with air. So the stomach is going to blow out. And then on the exhale, you're pressing or you're pulling the stomach in. You're also envisioning you know, your back meeting your stomach. So a lot of what we're doing as well, and we're gonna talk more about that in part two, is visualization. The whole aspect of how to incorporate your mind into your workout. Because all workout, at the end of the day, even though the focus is on breath, is mental as well. And even that's bringing in breath because you are mentally engaging your body to be mindful of your breath. You mentally are there, you're being conscious of your breathing. So it's mental, you know what I'm saying? When you get to those particular points and those breaking points where you hit your wall, you hit your threshold, the only way that you're going to be able to blast past that is really being strong with the mind. And if you have a stronger emphasis on breathing, on diaphragmic breathing, you're actually going to be able to build up your mental strengths. So you're inhaling. And you have a deeper exhalation period from the diaphragmic breathing. And this is the proper way. Because now you're engaging your whole lower anatomy as opposed to the upper anatomy, which is the shallow breaths. Another thing, because I'm sure that the brother might want to add on. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Uh, stand how you were standing, brother. Some people may see brothers just standing like that. And think that and some brothers stand like that just by nature. They don't even realize what they're doing. What I want to know is why why would this brother what what does it mean when this brother stands like that? Some people might think it's Masonic or some people might think he's just trying to look cool. What is this actually doing to see this brother stand like that with his hands and his uh feet positioned in that manner? Well, like he said, he's standing with proper form. You know what I'm saying? So with this particular form. It's going to be very hard to knock a brother off of his square because he's scented. He's in the trunk. You know what I'm saying? And this is uh, not necessarily what they call horse dance, but when they teach you horse dance in martial arts, that emphasis is on, you know, trunking yourself into the whole aspect of, you know, your foundation, your, your, your earth, your ground. You're rooting yourself. You know what I'm saying? And your strength is, is in your roots. The strength is in the trunk of the body. You feel me? So we have to be able to stand in these particular stance and root ourselves. So the brother standing how he's standing, he's actually rooting himself. This is the proper stance. He's taking the stress off of other areas and he's putting the emphasis where it needs to be. Yes, uh, what the brother said is correct about uh, being rooted. It allows you to, uh, to stand with your energy connected with the earth. And anybody could be able to be rooted. You just have to stand long enough to be able to do it. If you stand long enough, you will be connected and rooted into the earth. Everybody has this connection. 
uh, the other question about uh, the breathing and the diaphragm. The main thing that people don't realize about breathing is when you start breathing in your diaphragm, you start to breathe with the whole body and you give oxygen to the rest of your whole body. You see, breathing just in your chest is almost like you're not really fully affecting the whole body. By breathing in your center, you'll start breathing and the, and the oxygen can affect all the different parts of your body. Also, it will have an energetic effect over you. So it's very, very important to control your breathing. And controlling your breathing will help you be able to control your emotional states. Each emotional state is just a different rate of the breath. Sadness and crying is hyperventilating. <laughs> So, once you learn how to control your breath, you can control your emotions. Indeed. And something that I would also like to add, I'm going to give you a breathing exercise, family. This is formulaic. This can change your life. This is a major key, y'all. And people are always asking me about my 44s, where there's a law of 44s that applies to breathing. There's a 44 breathing law. And that is, we're going to do the 44 fours. So, four sets of four, all right? This is the calculated uh, metered breathing that you can enact. So we're going to take four seconds of, inhalization, of inhaling, four seconds of holding, four seconds of exhaling, and then four seconds of waiting until you recharge and re-up again. So it's... So I'm waiting. One, two, three, four. I'm inhaling from the diaphragm. One, two, three, four. I'm exhaling. One, two, three, four. And I'm waiting for another four seconds till I start all over again. So that's your 44 fours. All right. The more that you do that and it becomes like muscle memory and you lock your mind into that particular rhythm, all sorts of things are going to start happening because you're synchronizing yourself with a rhythm that is locking you into this whole universe, all right? So apply that, try that, all right? Get that one underneath your belt, and we're going to show you some more breathing techniques and breathing exercises as we progress with this series. Blue Pillar 44 on Instagram, all right? Hit us up, y'all. We're going to have the sea moss out here at ocean14corp.com. We're going to have the soul water, soul go water, soul go biz.com. MyPowerPieces.com, ApparelNormal.com. We're going to have all of the products out here incorporating them and showing you how they coincide with this whole workout regimen. Shout out to Queen of Fuwa, Supernova Slum. Um, they got the Sabi Challenge going. A lot of other people across the country got the whole Sabi Challenge going. Shout out to KT the Arch Degree. Shout out to Mama Pill, GreenleafHerbs.com or greenleaf hyphen herbs.com all right page all right uh this is brother ta you could check me out on instagram uh ta underscore uh, levy and um i'll have some more uh contact info in a little while like a website or what have you but uh ta underscore levy on instagram for now and uh, my young man want to say uh hello to y'all hi um i'm josiah sullivan huh Tell them how you like working out today. I liked working out with the medicine ball. It was pretty uh, heavy, but still. Okay. What about when we taught you about the breathing? How did that work for you? Good. Hi, my name's Franklin Brooks. Franklin Lee Brooks. Okay. You got an Instagram, Facebook? No. <laughs> how did you like your workout today? How did you like what you were taught? Good. Okay. We're going to be looking out for you, man. We're going to be looking out for you, okay? All right, y'all. Peace. Peace, family. This is Brother Rich from UGR. Urging all my viewers and subscribers to help support the channel by donating just $1 to the UGR PayPal account. We appreciate the viewership and support, and we understand the power of a dollar. 
If you benefit in any way, shape, or form, we ask that you donate a dollar, whether it be monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly, or yearly, so that we can build our brand to compete with the NBCs, the MTVs, and the Foxes of the world. I figure since Kanye could ask Mark Zuckerberg for one billion, I could ask my subscribers to donate one dollar so I could make the best possible content possible. The main objective of this channel is to inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. So hopefully throughout the years of you watching this program, you have been inspired to become the greatest version of yourself. If you would like to donate, you could go to www.paypal.com and send a donation to richandmerit7 at yahoo.com. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your program.